24 now, only on 10 News. New support for a mom and a baby infected with aggressive flesh eating bacteria. 10 News first uh, told you about Bree Drips and her newborn son, Hunter, last week. Hunter is home and doing well. 10 News anchor Riel Creighton shows us how the family's local CrossFit gym is making sure that mom makes it home. At H2 CrossFit Gym in El Cajon. Ready guys, keep pushing two minutes, come on. This is one hard workout. It's one burpee, one deadlift. Tired. <laughs> but this burn worth so much more. My legs are shaking, my arms hurt, but it's worth it. It's all for Bree. For Bree Drips and her husband Brandon, a trainer, raising money as they battle the biggest challenge of their lives. For this, Brandon's so thankful. The amount of support um, that we felt uh, is just, words can't describe it, it's unbelievable. So you could say is what they've been through. Days after welcoming his third child, November 25th, for his wife Bree, Brandon says it started as a terrible pain in her calf. Soon doctors telling them the terrifying news, what was causing it, rare and aggressive necrotizing fasciitis or flesh-eating bacteria. Soon, baby Hunter also started showing symptoms, but his prognosis good, Breeze much tougher. Just basically a whirlwind. I mean, she was, the next thing we knew, she was in, uh, in the OR and just went from there. Three surgeries later, this mom battling back, bit by bit, doctors cutting the infection out of her body. She turned the corner and now we're making progress every day. We just asked that everybody keep praying. I mean, keep praying for, for her and our family. So back at their gym. Come on, side, big jump. The price of this workout. Go, four minutes. Helping this family recover. Each individual person can only donate so much money, but as a group, um, we've been able to raise thousands of dollars. Riel Creighton, 10 News. And the family again is so grateful. Brandon Drips is also a firefighter and wanted especially uh, thank firefighters and, and all those for how much they've done for the family. Uh, you can now find a link to their GoFundMe page on our website at 10news.com under the red TV button.